Hello and welcome to another edition of our Math Web Lessons. We're going to take a look at multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. First, we're going to look at the math problem. We're going to see that we're going to multiply 77 times 35. When we multiply, we're going to multiply our number in our ones place which is a five and you'll see that I have underlined it here and we're going to multiply that five by both numbers on the top five times seven and five times seven We're going to multiply 5 times 7 and we get 35 and then we'll regroup the number of the tens place of 35 which is which is a 3 over that top number in the tens place then we place the 5 down below the line and we're going to multiply 5 by the number in the tens place on top which is 5 times 7 again and we're going to add our regroup 3 to that and that gives us 38 now there's nowhere to regroup the 3 and 38 so we'll just put it down and you see that 77 times 5 will be 385 the next thing we do is we're going to clean house and add a zero below the 5 and 385 because that will be our place value holder we need to clean house to make sure that we don't add that regroup 3 from when we multiplied our 1's place into any other number. So we're just going to draw a line through it. Next, we're going to take a look at the number in the 10's place, which is a 3 and 35. You can see that I've underlined it here. And we're going to multiply that 3 by both numbers on the top, which is 3 times 7 and 3 times 7. We're going to multiply 3 times 7, and that will give us 21. We bring the 1 down below the 8, because we need to regroup the 2, which is 2 tens in the number 21, over top of the 7 in the tens place on the top number. Now we're going to take 3 one more time, and we're going to multiply it by the 7 of the top number, which is in the tens place. So 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2, that's our regroup numbers we added in, which gives us 23. And there's no place to regroup the 2 and 23, so we just write them both down below. Then we're going to add the two sets of numbers that we have got from multiplying our ones place and our tens place by the both top numbers. We have 385 plus 2310 and that gives us a product of 2695 and you can see that here. Now I'm going to show you a different way to do the very same multiplication problem. First we're going to take a look at 77 and 35, the numbers themselves. We're going to take a look at 77, and we know that if we break those up into standard form, we get 70 and 7. That's 7 tens and 7 ones. Okay, if we take a look at 35, we get 30 and 5 in expanded form. 3 tens and 5 ones. Now the next thing you do is you're going to draw a box, and that box is going to be divided into four equal sections. You're pretty much drawing the box and cutting it into four pieces. And when you finish drawing the box, you're going to take the number 77, which has been busted up into expanded form, and you want to place it over the top of the box like so.
Once you do that, you're going to take 35 and place it along the side of the box. And 35, of course, is again in, stand, in expanded form. You're taking the number 30 and 5. You're going to put it along the side of the box. So you make kind of like a little four square grid. Once you have your little four square grid made, you're going to take the 30 and the 70 and multiply it and put it within the box there. The product of 30 and 70 being 2100 will be placed into the first section of the box. Then you're going to take 30 times 7, which is the 7 ones. You're taking the 30 times 7 ones, and you get 210. You place that into the second box, on the top part of the box there. And then now you're going to take the 5 and multiply it by the 70 which gives you 350 then you're going to take the 5 and multiply it by 7 and that's going to give you 35 Now the next part comes after you've multiplied all the numbers together and placed them into the appropriate box. You're going to take the products from each box in each row and you're going to add them together. So you're going to take 2100 plus 210, which is the two top boxes, and that gives you 2310. Then you're going to take the two bottom boxes, or bottom sections of your box, and that is 350 plus 35, add those together, that gives you 385. Once you've done that, you take the sum of the top two sections of the box and the sum of the bottom two sections of the box, and you add them together. And you'll see once you add them together, you get the same result, 2,695. Well, there you have it. Thank you for uh, watching this video.